Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone. Ramasa Zulfi here from Pasadena, Texas. I, I want to quickly share um, a very powerful classroom management concept with you. Now, uh, this is wow. really not. Can you read that again, sir? Hi, everyone. Grandmaster Zufi here. I really quickly want to share a very powerful uh, classroom management teaching training tip. Now, assume that you are watching your instructor's class or one of your instructors teaching class. How are you going to measure that class? How are you going to pu- uh, put a uh, standardization to that class? Let's say you are a auditor. You are somebody who is inspecting the class and you want to give that instructor a grade to see how good the class is, how they teach, the energy, are they leading by example with energy for excellence. So what, what, is, your, uh, what is your method of measuring how to uh, evaluate the, the, the class and how to evaluate, uh, evaluate his performance? I've been doing this for many, many years. Now we can go, oh, it's a great class. There's a lot of energy. You know, kids were enjoyable, enjoying it. He taught with a lot of energy or he was really dull, no connect. These are just observations, but do we have, do we have a, a system, a method where we can give our instructors, our, our teachers to go by a guideline? So today what I'm gonna share with you is extremely powerful and I think you will really uh, benefit from this. So this is the guideline that we teach in Bushiban to our instructors, how we can measure their, uh, evaluate them and me- measure their uh, uh, teaching. So if I, if I were to go in the class, I have a measuring scale of what I'm looking for. So here we go. Good, so now we know there is a scale. Remember, one, three, five, seven, and 10%, okay? So what does one, three, five, seven? So if I'm sitting in my classroom, I have this uh, chart where I can measure exactly what I want them to do. So the one stands for one spotlight. One spotlight. The instructor has to spotlight one student per class at least. Remember, this is the minimum standard, minimum standard now can be more than one okay so one student need to be spotlighted at least three corrections three corrections personal there's a personal personal corrections need to be made that means the instructor needs to go to a student who really needs to uh, some help correcting a technique, correcting uh, a move or a behavior or an attitude. So in, in that classroom, then does the instructor make at least three correction? Five assists. Five assists. That means is the instructor going side by side or leading uh, a student holding hands, not correction, assist, assisting them, keeping them motivated, keeping them positive, using the uh, praise correct praise, uh, you know, acronym, uh, using the praise correct praise principle. So they have to personally assist five students at a, at, at a given class. Now, one thing which I want you to keep in mind is we are thinking this is a beginner's class. Let's just assume it's a beginner's class and it's a 30 minute, 30 minute class, okay? So one spotlight, they need to spotlight and spotlight could be 30 seconds. Hey, everybody stop, I've got a champion here. I've got this person. Hey, Johnny, could you show that front kick? Oh, beautiful, what do you think guys? That's a perfect front kick. Let's give Johnny a big round of applause. That's a spotlight. Or you can sit them down on a a chair or on a mat or on a uh, wherever and you can spotlight something good. Be a good finder, okay. Seven, this is the important thing. I need seven praises. Praises, I need the instructor to praise at least seven different students in that classroom by pointing out something positive, something good, giving them a thumbs up, giving them a pat on the back, giving them uh, kudos, giving them uh, a quick spotlight, either personal or classroom. 
this is something which is overlooked I've tried my instructors in the past to you know be praising praising people genuine sincere praise not false pretend or false praise but sometimes we fall short of praising but since we have this system the one three five seven ten percent system now the instructors have a clear measurable guidelines where they can be held accountable but you didn't spotlight the kid you didn't make three correction at least three correction you didn't do at least five assists i needed seven praises you only did six praises uh, so the, these are something very powerful to give an instructor a measurable uh, productive uh, outline guideline now what is 10 percent 10 percent is this is where the instructor has the uh only 10% time allocated so this is time 10% of the time so what will be 10% of 30 minutes so 10% of 30 minutes is three minutes three minutes the instructor only has three minutes of communication time that means they're explaining something they only have three minutes now not three minutes at a time they can divide at 30 seconds huddle instruction uh, uh, 30 seconds or a one minute huddle or a 20 second huddle uh, we don't want more in a 30 minute session we don't more we don't want more than three huddles okay no more than three huddles and sometimes that could be more also okay that could be too much because we want to keep 80 percent 80 percent activity we want we want the floor to stay active functional moving grooving working out 80 percent of the time 10 percent is 10 percent is your communication and the rest 10 percent is your protocol okay lining up at ease attention bow you know seza anza quiet meditation student creed so this is all this is complete 20 percent of your classroom and all this is 80 percent of work now this has to be very very closely monitored because a lot of times we don't realize that in a 30 minute class there's five minutes of formalities lining up bowing putting them on space and then instructor talks for a minute and then gives them a water break another minute gives them a water break and talks about how great they are that's no no use okay they have to have a clear understanding that i only have 10 percent of this time allocated to explain demonstrate give personal guidance and 80 percent is work if it's a 30 minute class if it's a 45 minute class you do the same thing 10 percent of 45 minutes 4.5 minutes will be 10 percent once you implement this guideline these standards in your classroom you will see that the classroom will become extremely productive and you will see the instructors will have a clear mission a clear measurable accountable uh, uh, method of work and uh, you will see that the parents who come here for instruction in the martial arts not listening to stories not listening uh, to the instructor how great he is their stories not listening to fluff which is not not logically uh, usable in the classroom getting off on tangent uh, and seeing physical activity working out getting the exercise getting the self-defense and the 10% is personal development and the 10% is the discipline and the structure of the classroom so I hope this helps you this is the Bushiban guidelines so if I would go and do a uh, evaluation uh, in my classroom these are the things I will be looking for in my instructors performance there are other things also but this is what I wanted to share with you right now I hope this helps I want you to go and implement the 1357 the 10 percent rule the 80 20 you know rule in your classroom and see how this will help your class become more functional and more productive to your success see you next time